Cheltenham Ladies College has a rich history of excellence since its founding in 1853. How has it maintained such a high level of achievement for so long? Well, I, I'm the 11th principal in 166 years, and I think I owe an enormous debt to my predecessors who had the courage and the imagination to challenge the norms of their day and to be as innovative and as progressive as they could, even in the context of the 19th century. It's put us on a really strong platform to be um, creative and bold in terms of facing the challenges and the real opportunities that we now have in the 21st century in the education of women. Cheltenham Ladies has a sizable presence in the town centre and a renowned international reputation. How important is the college to Cheltenham's economy? So we've been here since um, the 1850s, as you mentioned, Dan, and I think it's been extraordinary watching the evolution of the town growing up around the college. So we've ended up with this fantastically central location. Um, we're a £35 million a year charity in terms of our fee income. We don't have any income of any magnitude from other sources. So that places us really at the centre of the multiplier effect for our um, employment. We're the fifth largest employer in Cheltenham, I believe. And also the expenditure that comes from having 850 pupils who hail from 40 countries internationally and also a permanent presence of 180 of the day girls who live quite nearby as well. We're here in a classroom surrounded by engineering projects. Is this indicative of what makes Cheltenham Ladies College unique? Well, I'm absolutely thrilled with this current um, workshop because we introduced four years ago a new academic course here called Engineering Enterprise and Technology. I originally trained as a structural engineer in the 1990s and I believe very passionately in the value of solving problems from first principles and being very, very grounded in the practical dimensions of life. So from Key Stage 3, which is year, year 7, all of our students have an opportunity to study EET, as we would call it, um, to make things, prototype things, break things, test to failure and fracture point, um, and all of the time be mindful of the practical implementations of an innovative idea. And how do you engage with the business community? Well, I think, Dan, if I'm honest, this is such a pleasure having an opportunity to speak to you because we would like to do more in this area, bluntly. I'm hoping very much this is the beginning of a, of a period of open dialogue, of conversation, um, in which we would ideally mutually explore opportunities to improve and increase that engagement. And what's your vision for Cheltenham Ladies College over the next five to ten years? So I think if we had a crystal ball for five or ten years, uh, it would be very useful at the current time for all of us, I imagine. But um, we have spent years looking ahead, and I think it's one of the privileges that schools often enjoy as organisations, is that they can take a medium and longer term view. So we aim to meet the challenges of the 21st century head on and make sure that we don't look backwards into our own past and our previous glories and that we remain relevant and imaginative in terms of the environmental agenda, in terms of the social fabric. So I would hope that we would be a school that through courageous and bold imaginative thinking, looking outwards into partnerships and into um, an outward focused understanding of what business and employers really want a workforce to become, that we can be a place of excellence and um, a setter of standards of excellence in the 21st century for girls.